What's up to all my beautiful queens, divas of a more mature age? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. I am the Eva Monroe and today I'm super duper excited to finally be sharing with you guys my closet reno. So let me tell you how I got here first and foremost because I got to share the process. So the room that you guys always used to see me filming in was my closet and outside of that room we had a guest bedroom that I had racks of clothes in. I had stuff in closets in this house that didn't belong to me. Um, every time it was time for me to film in my room in there I had to rearrange everything. I had to take stuff down, put my lights up, set my camera up, move everything out the way off my vanity. So when my son was here for Christmas, I said, you know, I just, I just don't have space. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So my son said, well, you guys need to tear out the wall in the guest bedroom, move the bar, you know, move the bar out of here and build you a big closet. And I was like, yeah, my husband, he, he would never go for that. So I ran the idea past him and I still have a clip in my hair. <laughs> I guess she was kind of cute though, right? Um, I ran the idea past him and he was like, yeah, you know, I, if you're going to keep all your bunk and junk in one room, I could totally go for that. So what we actually did was we tore out the wall in the guest bedroom and we moved the bar and we built a wall to give me, I have, now I have an entire, I have a workspace, I have a play space and I have a slay space so I can work play space and slay. <laughs> I can't talk, but I can work playing slay. So I have my, I can, you know, I can come over here and slay and then I can slide right over here and get down to business, go right to work. So I have all the space I need and I'm going to share with you guys the process. You guys know that I'm 100% cheap, right? So the most expensive thing that I bought for this room was actually a mirror and you guys will see that mirror in this video it it was it cost 250 dollars um that's the most expensive thing that i actually purchased for this room i made the desk i'm gonna show you guys that i i i i repurposed items that i had i'm gonna show you guys some clothes racks that i had purchased like two years ago from the dress barn when they went out of business i ended up keeping those um I made myself a sewing station. So I'm going to show you guys, of course, the process. And then I'm going to give you guys a tour of this room. I hope you guys like the room. I love the room. Like I said, I, I don't, I never, I don't even want to leave here. So thank you guys so much for watching me today. I hope you enjoy the video until I see you again. Be blessed and bye. So it's Sunday and we're two days in and we got the wall framed up. Getting ready to put the drywall up, and as soon as we get that done, I will be spending my Sunday mudding and taping on that side, and hopefully by this evening I will be able to start. Thinking of 
other's strengths and weaknesses, and that's how we're able to get these kind of projects done um, and do them ourselves. Um, my husband is, of course, the muscle, and so like hanging up the big sheets of drywall and things like that are that those are his strengths. Um, mudding and taping. gets a little cray cray with it so I'm a lot more detail oriented where that's concerned so I always do that type of stuff um, and of course we're gonna we'll do the floor together the floor is actually going to be a white high gloss lamp wow I'm, ex I'm super excited about that I think that's gonna be dope so <sighs> okay welcome to the diva den so this is my workspace over here and i simply made the desk i already had one alex drawer from ikea and i purchased i actually ended up purchasing two more and i went to menards and i purchased two tabletops and i arranged them how i wanted them I ended up having to use two table legs just to balance it because I wanted that whole L-shaped thing. Um, this desk, I would have paid so much money to have purchased a desk with all this drawer space. And so the project was a lot of fun for me. And my husband couldn't figure out what the heck I was doing. But when he saw the final results, he was like, okay. So back behind there is my fragrance nook and we're gonna we'll go over there in a minute we'll save the best for almost last but i have a window which i'm so excited about um the dogs keep jumping on it and checking on me though so <laughs> that's the downside of having a window in this room um i had to have a place for my girls that that was in the drawing i was like i i have to have a place for wigs and shoes so wigs shoes and fragrances so this is where i store my wigs and the mirror that i talked about which was the most expensive item that i actually purchased for this room is actually that mirror right there um, I wanted it to be freestanding because when I do closed videos, sometimes I have to move it around. Oh, somebody's shaking. <laughs> so in this cabinet, which is my sewing cabinet on top and underneath in that cabinet, it houses my scented lotions and shower gels. Um, these are some of my favorite things. I've told you guys before that blinged out mask. That is actually, that was my father's face. I've always kept that. So these are my scented lotions and creams, my Keys collection, my philosophy lotions, everything I like to cover myself in. Hey. <laughs> okay now we're going over to the other side of the room and this picture right here i ordered this print off of iCanvas. i had it framed and the colors in this picture were really the inspiration for this room i wanted my closet to have color i i was looking for inspiration and everyone's closet was just white on white on white on white and I didn't want that. I wanted there to be some funk in here. So I loved that picture. Now here's my fragrance collection. And I have actually, I painted the inside of this nook magenta. And I think I showed earlier in the video, I'm not really sure. I think I showed that it actually changes colors in there. Even though it's painted magenta, um, I can change the colors back there. 
Now, this is another favorite part of mine. I love this. Um, these glass cases used to hold my fragrances, but I was going to get rid of them, but I kept them. And I just put my good stuff in here. So, you know, the diamonds and things like that and things that bling. So I love this. And just like the fragrance area, it changes color as well. I actually just put some puck lights in there. I should bring you guys in here at night because it's, it's so stunning at night because everything lights up and changes colors. Okay, so now we're going over to the closet area. Now, these two hanging racks in the front that you see right here, about two years ago, I actually bought those from the dress barn for $10 because they were going out of business. And I never knew what I would do with them. However, they came in handy because had I not had those, I would have had to buy like tons of packs, wardrobes, and I really didn't have the space for that. So, you know, you got to store those furs. You got to hang those furs out in the winter time. Don't judge me. Now, this is the area where I keep all of my clothes. I wanted all the clothes back behind the little... Uh, ledge thing and sweaters here jeans over there my long hanging some of my long hanging stuff is in the wardrobe there I keep my little handbags up on top as well as hats are up there too um and one of my favorite statement pieces these are some of my everyday grab and go watches and just jewelry that I like to wear um now this scarf right here this is an Hermes scarf and one of my lovely subscribers actually sent that to me she gifted that to me and I was so in love with the colors because it's like um pink and turquoise and orange it's so good the colors just tie into the room so well so I'm still working on organizing some clothes and we still have one more light to hang in here um, I don't know if you noticed, I went with the, I think you can see them earlier. I have a bench back here that you can sit on. I actually went with the circle track lights and I got one to make sure. And then when I ordered another one, it got delayed. So hopefully he'll get that up soon. And shoes, shoes, shoes. I, In my mind, my drawing actually had crown molding going all the way up to the top of the ceiling. But that didn't work because I needed that space up there for loafers and flats and things like that. So, And there's the blue ceiling. The ceiling is actually... The ceiling has some like green in it. It's, it's kind of turquoisey. It looks very blue on camera, but it's got a lot of green in it. And there's my chandelier, my light that came out of my other dressing room. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was so much work. Till I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.